the way, everyone, just want to let you know that a new chapter of my comic has been posted last week. Make sure to check it out. Okay, back to the video. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your Kai Watch bracelet. Today, I'm going to be testing out these new designs on my computer after a little bit of doodling in my sketchbook because I wanted to take a break from drawing on the computer a lot after posting my comic and I also recently got these paint pens which is uh, the fine tipped ones I've been experimenting with them and they're actually pretty good cool to use because I could just do it one color at the same time. While using these paint pens, I've made some new designs, new clothing designs of my characters, which was supposed to be in the story plot, but most I couldn't figure out most of them. So I made the entire character shield of every single, not every single, like about two or three of the characters trying to figure out what the outfits are. And uh, do the little bit of the paint pens to see what color scheme I should use. And then it turned out like that. Anyways, enough of all the explaining. Let's get back to this illustration. So here's the footage. I gotta just say, I normally just say like how nice it is and everything. But honestly, these designs kind of have a story to it. Ever since like I was designing like Yasha and Mariam's designs and everyone else's design, because the thing is, I did Yasha and Mariam's designs first. And then the thing is, I've been getting a lot of compliments from the people I know for some strangers, like, how good it is. I'm not bragging or anything, but it's all this to just kind of repeat. Because, like, since they're married, and then the way I describe it to them, is like, I actually know this person in real life, but I do not. Well, I would like to, but I don't, so don't say anything about that, okay? <laughs> so, I kind of, they kind, I kind of get why they like that, because honestly, I do think his outfit looks nice. But honestly, since it's winter, not winter, but like, which is almost going to spring this cold. But it's cold around here. I honestly like that clothing that he's wearing. I just want to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. I just want to wear it because it's so comfy. It seems so comfortable. Whoa, I want to wear it. That just that just sounds weird now. <laughs> I honestly like the woolly sweatshirt because it's so big and puffy and uh, warm it should be very warm wearing that I'm getting jealous now <laughs> who the heck am I now? <laughs> why? anyways for the rest I just uh, made it up in my head, but for like Mara the Salam's word, I just took the one that uh, her past design, her first design, which I can't really show because I don't want to look for everything. But like, that's a season two outfit. But the thing is, the season two outfit is kind of shorter, so she's a kid and now she's an adult. For my Ad Salam's one. So, like, there's a little bit of a difference. The sleeves are a little bit longer. She's not wearing, like, the shirt. The dress is a little longer. 
and the colors are a little bit more saturated less saturated I mean <laughs> for the two cousins you can tell those two are different and you probably don't know that they're actually related seriously they're a handful anyways back to the designs one I got it because from a random channel I used to watch called Etrachon saw it. One of them had this bulky uh, jacket, a bulky green jacket. I liked it because like give the, it gave the cool vibe. But the thing is, the character was wearing it was a nice person, which was kind of strange. Like a, a nice person wearing a bulky jacket just changed the mood. So like I thought. Why if I can make this guy wearing a bulky jacket so he can look more like a delinquent but he's not a delinquent, he just he's like he's the delinquent type but he's just a nice person that you can see anywhere. Just a little bit different. And I've since he doesn't like getting involved in anything, so I just made a gigantic collar to really emphasize that he doesn't wanna cause some trouble and just wants to live a normal life. <laughs> And give the sinister vibe as well. But Joseph's outfit, the guy has been wearing long sleeves ever since he was a kid, so I made that a little bit more woolier than woolier than Willy can ever get. He's also wearing a sweatshirt, but it's kind of smaller than Yasha's sweatshirt. Yasha's a shy kid, and shy characters tend to like want to cover themselves more than normal especially in winter clothes to like con conceal themselves from society or something so you can tell that character shy if you're wondering well those random uh, yellow marks on this shirt because I also made a design where basically they're wearing the the first letters of their name like one is wearing the letter I and then Yabo is wearing the letter J. Madame and Yasha have another it's shirts like that but they're not wearing it right now because I didn't think they would be wearing it because it's too like autumnish and this is like winter. Joseph's one, you can see it pretty clearly that it's a grey J. I just realized this now but like AJ characters tend to wear like more colorful clothing to emphasize how energetic and uh, carefree they are. Like they tend to wear a lot of colors. Maratha Sam was also an AJ character, that's why she has a lot of colors, but like they're organized colors, that's like. But Joseph's case is kind of different. He has grayscale colors, but yet he's still an energetic person. Like Kai dresses more professionally, even though he's a pretty naughty child or adult. But he's still acting like a child in this picture because he's dazzled at something and he's 29. Grow up, kid. <laughs> then this guy never grows up. I had trouble like using the right grays for this because I didn't want it to look too red reddish grey and or too grey grey I'm making I'm making no sense <laughs> anyway honestly I think I chose the right amount of greys for this person and the fact that he's still acting like a little kid surprises me for the background, I basically just used a bunch of yellows and a bunch of gradient and a random flower brush and just splashed it all over the canvas. Now, let's just wait until the final result.
here is the finished result. Honestly, it kind of blew up my expectations. I feel like I say that all the time, but that is the truth. Like, I don't know no more. I just don't know what to say. Anyway, I feel like I should draw these peep these designs more so I can get them in my head properly because they need more designs when they're adults, not just one. But I like how the background turned out, how I just did some random blotches and uh, it turned out to be a masterpiece. Anyways, thank you for watching the speed paint. I will make sure to update on the animation and comic project. Anyways, bye!